Now the very first thing you need to do as Italy is to deal with Ethiopia. Dealing with Ethiopia is extremely easy. With just your starting army and your starting air force, you can very easily beat Ethiopia by just battle planning them. Draw a front line, draw your offensive lines. Do the same for the other side and give them some generals. Now you can shift click on this button up here and that will allow you to put all your troops into one army. You can press S to split the army and put it into the rest of your armies. Now that you have your whole army in Ethiopia, you can set them all on aggressive and give them better motorization priority. Now select all your planes, just throw them onto your army, press S to split them and throw some of them into your other army. It doesn't really matter how you distribute them, just click close air support and air superiority. This will be more than enough to defeat Ethiopia by itself. As for research, we'll go for the standard research and some airplanes. As for the focus tree, you can go for army primacy or air innovations to make sure that your early war has some powerful bonuses. For industry, we're just going to go with a really simple spam military factories everywhere. So in the production tab, we'll be producing trains, trucks, airplanes and infantry equipment and this is more than enough to achieve the goal that we are aiming for today. Now with all of the early game preparations done, just put it to speed 5 and watch your army destroy Italy by themselves. Now when you reach 50 political power, you want to start your justifications on France. This will be the early war that I'm talking about. Alright, now that Ethiopia has fallen, you can choose to either annex them or puppet them. Since I'll not be teaching you how to do resistance in this video, we'll be puppeting them instead so that we can completely avoid the resistance. Now that the war with Ethiopia is done, bring your army back to the French border and take all the planes and bring it back home. Now all you need to do is wait for the war with France to start. Alright, now the war go on France is done. Take your planes, manually set them up so that it will be easier for you to push. Now press this button right here to make your planes fight better. If you can afford it, you should always press this button. Once you are done with that, just start the war. Alright, so with France, we're going to make them as a puppet and take their navy so that we don't have to deal with any of the resistance. Now for the navy, merge them all together and bring them over to the English Channel. We'll be declaring war on England as our next step. To naval invade, click this button, click on any available port and right click on where you want to land. Now that the justification for the UK is done, you want to click Naval Invasion Support and click on the English Channel. Now just declare war on the UK. Something else that I like to do is to declare war on all the puppets except for Canada. Now that you have landed in the UK, just bring all your troops over. Just draw a battle line. 
and let your troops fight. Now that you have taken down the UK, you can do whatever you want in the peace deal and you should be able to rule the world. Now if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff and I'll see you next time.